so this is a scene, um, I think it's night number four, and uh, the, t the tarp is set up, and uh, I am brewing some um, water in order to have some nice tea that I've bought today. It's supposed to have a, um, a relaxing and soothing effect. Uh, so here is the campsite, and I'm in um, Viesca, I believe, or Biela. Biela, I, I believe. Um, a little bit back from the main ridge, but uh, it's nice and welcoming place. I'm at, at a campsite here. You can see some caravans. Okay, full circle, and there's the tea about to get made. Well, this is the end of day six um, of the Spanish um, trekking holiday, and I've set up my tarp in the woods. Uh, it was getting too late to continue on the trail, so I've just set it up here. You can see the trail going off there, and. Uh, I'm going to enjoy the last rays of sunlight on this Saturday uh, evening. So, today was um, quite, quite a quiet day by comparison. Yesterday was a killer uh, and I think I should finish my Aragon uh, trek tomorrow and get a bus to uh, uh, Catalonia to do uh, another leg. Um, so, I'm just going to settle down for the night. Well, welcome to the rolling green hills of Catalonia. You can see behind me uh, none of the dramatic mountainous landscape of um, Aragon, or Aragon as it's known here in Spain. Uh, but um, closer to the coast here we have uh, rolling green hills but still um, forested. Well, where am I? Well, I'm in the middle of a cow field, uh, and here's my tarp, which I've set up for the night. And it's been quite a long day, uh, walking from Ripoll to, um, I'm terrible with names, um, I'll look it up in the map and uh, make a note later. But uh, it was about an eight-hour eight, eight day, um, I got lost a few times, and uh, yeah, it's a day when I really miss my wife. Um, one has days like that. Anyway, the plan is to um, walk to the coast and uh, I think I, sh I, should be I should be able to do it by linking on to the GR2. I'm on the GR1 at the moment and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's the end of Tuesday. <laughs>